A surprise this morning for a Clark County family when they looked out to find a car in their swimming pool. They live near the intersection of Northwest 84th Loop and Fruit Valley Road. Coin Local 6 reporter Chad Carter shows us how crews are removing that car. Two different cranes were brought in. They devised an elaborate contraption to go ahead and raise the car up over the wall, essentially taking it out the same way it came in early this morning. With the tail end of the car submerged and the front clinging to the water slide, crews worked to lift it out of the pool. The car landed there just past four this morning after flying off Northwest 21st Avenue, went end over end over a wrought iron fence, and then landed partially there in the pool. Covered for the winter, the car was actually stopped from plunging entirely into the frigid waters. Clark County deputies say the driver, 24 year old Eric Brown, was able to climb out of the car and was found walking down the street moments after the crash. For the homeowners, it certainly was a rude awakening and a lesson for the future. Oh, I'm glad that nobody got hurt. You know, I, I guess the whole thing is I've already lectured my kids. This is exactly why you don't drink and drive. You know, you don't get in a car with somebody that's had anything to drink, you know. So it's been a learning experience, you know, and I'm just glad nobody got hurt. Brown is facing charges of drunk driving and hit and run for leaving the scene and is being treated at Peace Health Medical Center. Meanwhile, the pool will have to be drained due to all the gas that spilled into the water and, of course, the damage done to the slide and fence will have to be replaced. Reporting for you in Vancouver, Chad Carter, Point Local 6.